In Chicago, several police officers could be suspended, even fired after a raid gone wrong. A raid that happened on the wrong home, an innocent woman inside. Body cam video from February of 2019 shows Chicago police forcing their way into Anjanette Young's home as she was getting ready for bed. Police handcuffed her while she was naked as she repeated over and over again that those officers had the wrong house. Since then, the city's civilian police accountability organization has been reviewing this case. Our Chicago station, WGN, has been following the situation for almost two years. Patrick Elwood, live with the results of that civilian investigation. So, Patrick, we're learning that that report recommended suspending an officer who was recently killed in the line of duty. Nicole, good evening, and right you are. The report recommends disciplinary action for about half of the officers involved in that botched raid, including Officer Ella French, who was gunned down in the line of duty just a couple of months ago. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability, the police department's watchdog agency, says there is an explanation to that. It was a botched raid of epic proportions. Chicago police storming and Jeanette Young's home in 2019, forcing her to stand naked for 40 minutes until she was given a blanket to cover up. Young, a social worker, repeatedly told officers they had the wrong home. An unnamed informant gave police Young's address, claiming a man was illegally possessing a gun there. Young lived alone. Superintendent David Brown wants to fire the sergeant who led the raid, and at least half of the officers involved could face some sort of discipline. Also on that raid, though, was Officer Ella French, who Young later said was the only one to, quote, offer her dignity and respect, unquote. Here is body cam footage from that night in reference to Young's statement. So you want me to get her dressed? Where's a pair of sweatpants and a t-shirt? A newly released report, though, from the Civilian Office of Police Accountability says that, quote, Officer French failed to timely activate her body-worn camera and failed to document the detention in search of the male and his vehicle in an investigatory stop report. Accordingly, COPA recommends a three-day suspension, unquote. What the COPA report failed to mention is that Officer French was killed in the line of duty several months ago. That has infuriated some CPD officers, including FOP President John Catanzaro, who tells WGN, quote, This is the latest example of why that agency has zero credibility in the eyes of every CPD officer. We demand an apology immediately for the intentional harm caused to Ella's family, friends, and co-workers, unquote. So about that explanation coming from COPA, a spokesperson telling me this afternoon that report was actually finalized in April. So to omit the recommendation for that three-day suspension or even make mention of Officer Ella French's death would require doing it all over in its entirety. And that's just not part of department protocol. In the end, he calls it just an unfortunate circumstance. Reporting from outside CPD headquarters tonight, Patrick Elwood. Nicole, back to you in the studio. All right, Patrick, thank you for that reporting. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.